I am super excited to share with you guys on how to cast out demons. This is my number one most requested topic. All the messages I get, um, almost all of people requesting stuff to speak on, it's always please talk about how to cast out demons. Please talk about the demonic realm. Okay, so everybody, it seems like, is having some sort of deliverance ministry. I mean, deliverance ministries are just popping up. People are casting out demons all over the place and, and doing all sorts of things. And it's got me wondering, is it possible that I've been wrong? Is it possible that maybe I've just been too rigid, um, too cold in my assessment, that maybe I'm not letting the spirit move, Right. We are told in the scriptures that we war not against flesh and blood. We are told that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the darkness of the world. And it says against spiritual wickedness in high places. And then we are told that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. And so this fight that we're having, that we're in, is a spiritual fight and it's not just the things that are between us and other people but against demonic forces sometimes so maybe they have a point now jesus did say in reading from what isaiah said as well that the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor he has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the year of our Lord's favor. And so when it says to set the captives free or to set at liberty those who are oppressed, is he talking about those who are demon-possessed? Because again, Jesus did uh, cast out demons, and so too did the disciples. You know what? Let me just think about that passage that these guys are always quoting in Mark 16. You know, where it says in verse 17, it says, and these signs shall follow those that believe and they shall cast out demons. Hmm. Is it possible? See, I've seen the guy who I said, I'm not going to mention his name. I've seen him even play a recording of, I guess he was casting out a demon. And then you've got this guy Pagani who is, I guess, pulling a demon out of someone's back. That seems to kind of be in style now, huh? Pulling demons out of backs. They come out of her neck now, in Jesus' name. Out, 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 come out. Come out of her spinal cord. Out now, in Jesus' name. And then this guy, Salivar, this guy is so good, he can cast a demon out just over a Zoom call. Now, Lord, get out, spirit. Get out, spirit. Get out, spirit. Get out. Get out. Get out, torment. Get out, get out, get out. Go, go, go. Go witchcraft. Go witchcraft. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. 
out. So if it's true, then how do we how do we find out how to do it? I mean, is there some place we can go to to actually learn how to cast demons out? Maybe there ought to be a school, someone to teach us how to cast demons out. You know, watching my way of video, we are here in Newark, New Jersey, the school of deliverance. They are practicing on one another on how to cast out demons. It's not real deliverance, but they're practicing in the wording to prepare themselves for when God makes them do the real thing. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Unless I command you yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I command you right now in the name of Jesus to come out of the real way. Now, the Bible does say that who the son says free, this person is free indeed. Right. And so maybe there is something to this. You know what? They might be on to something. I think I've got it. I think I've figured out. Matter of fact, I'm on their side now. I know how to cast out demons. I figured this out. Just took a little bit of time. It clicked. Just by thinking about and reflecting on the scriptures, it came to me how you cast demons out. You ready? Well, James says, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. But shouldn't there be more to it? Shouldn't there be some sort of way to cast out demons? Uh, I guess if a person does have a demon, what's a good way? And you know what? Maybe it's not casting out demons, but... How do you deliver someone? What is a true deliverance ministry? How do you set captives free? I'll tell you how. Here is the surefire way to deliver someone from any sort of oppression. Here is a surefire 100% way that if a person is being oppressed or influenced by a demon, here's a surefire way to remove that, to cast that demon away, so to speak. Guaranteed. You ready? Here it is. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Just that simple. Because where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There cannot be the two in the same vessel. There will not be the occupancy of the spirit of the Lord at the same time of any sort of demonic influence. Because what does the Bible tell us? Greater is he, God, that is in me than he, any other influence, demonic influence or otherwise, that is in the world. Amen.